Hey YouTube people, I wanted to go ahead and make this short video to show my aquaponics setup. Uh, I spent a lot of research and time reading about aquaponics and looking at other people's setups before I decided to build my own. Um, and it's been quite successful. Uh, as you can see, it's a standard setup. You have the 55 gallon fish tank. Uh, I call that the, the modified planter's box. It's basically a, uh, a wooden box that I, I nailed together stained and it has the uh, uh, black um, tarp in it. I'm going to show you in a minute. That's uh, used for pond liners. Um, and then there is the light. That's actually a 340 watt fluorescent light. I'm actually only running out of six fluorescent lights for them. And uh, as you can see, the plants are growing like crazy. Uh, there's actually a couple plants I took out of the system because they grew too big. So um, it, it is quite successful and operates very well. First, quick look at the fish tank here. Um, as you can see, I have some koi fish. I know these guys are pond fish. The intent was grow them to a size uh, and then give them away or sell them and find a happy home for them. I actually have a friend of mine who's building a koi pond. so. Some of these guys will find a happy new pond home, but right now they're they're very happy and uh, doing quite well. Now, in here, it's a bit of a glare, you can see there is a pump that pumps water up through a series of tubes back here. It's kind of funky to look at, but it gets piped into the planter's box and you see the, the black pond liner. You can buy this at Lowe's, the Home Depot. Um, kind of expensive, but uh, it works very well. And what's different about this is a lot of people have what they call a um, ebb and flow or flood and drain system where you have a reserve and it floods the flower bed and then drains it back into the fish tank. The problem is I don't have room for reserve tanks. So what I've done is a drip irrigation system and the water is piped up. I'm gonna move my basil plant. Water is piped up to this intake and or this this uh, X take here, or whatever you want to call it. And these little spaghetti spaghetti tubes are connected into that main tube there. And they have these these drip lines that go at the base of the plant. Uh, all these plants were grown from from seedling all the way up to what you see now and um, you can see the root system around the, the clay pellet balls here and what, what happens is there's a timer that turns the lights on and off um, about eight hours for the eight to ten for the, the lights up top it used to be 12 and this uh, the aquarium light comes on at the nighttime for a few hours so that's all automated and for the lights and here there's the timer for for the actual pump so once an hour it pumps for about five to ten minutes and then what's the the plant root comes over here to the drain which then drains back into the fish tank really simple um, and by doing it this way, I don't fluctuate the water level too much in the fish tank. So that way it keeps fishies happy. So that's about it. Um, I would say that the things that I would modify in the system is uh, once the plants get to a certain height, you can back down the water maybe to, to you know, 10 minutes once every two hours because I think what this little happening here is over, over water. And... Um, there's plant crowding, obviously. Uh, I was really surprised. I wasn't watering enough in the beginning, and they didn't grow very well. They all looked like little midgets. Then I increased the water, and they all shut up and got huge. And then they all grew together. And I really only come in here once a day to feed the feed the fishies and add water to the system. And I just kind of got out of control. But I have used a lot of these basil plants. They basil grows extremely well. This lettuce didn't grow so well. Um, I think it's the type of lettuce may not be good for this environment. Uh, we have some some uh, parsley. 
I have some chamomile, some thyme, and of course uh, the sage here. I had two tomato plants in here. They got so big, I put them outside in, in pots outside, and now yielding full-size plants, yielding tomatoes. So I think what's works best about a home system like this is mainly as a seedling system where you're able to take it outside during the you know, springtime or fall and plant it in the ground and let the plants grow to full size. Um, or you have a greenhouse that you can add this to. But you know, even still, if you grow certain herbs, I think you, you'd make out pretty well on uh, you know, yield if you stuck with maybe two to three varieties. So that way everybody, um, you know, plants that grow well together on the same type of, uh, you know, amounts of water and, and cycle and height and everything like that. And that is just about it. Look forward to your, you know, question, comments, and posts. And um, when I go ahead and harvest this and reset it up again, I'll go ahead and post a new video. Thanks a lot.